Hello everyone and welcome back to Wonderful Wonderful Group D. Um, okay, so I have been welding and uh, by the magic of television I will do the intro after the job is done. So the engine has been taken apart on the 240. We had bore wear, as you know from the last episode. And uh, we stripped the whole engine, which you have missed. And we have found another couple of issues. Um, there was a camshaft wear, which I'm going to show you right now. And the block is cracked um, in multiple places. We knew that anyway. It's no surprise. Um, it was cracked all last season and we put like um you know your your sealant into your cooling system to uh to seal it up so it was like that all last year um one of those things i don't know why it cracked it has opened up cracks uh from where the head studs thread of the head stud stops so where it would pull on the on the block to fasten the head down um not sure if it's the casting um not sure if it's the irish weather which is a possibility uh in storage over the winter that you know the water might have froze a little bit i don't know anyway doesn't matter it's cracked it has to be fixed how do we fix it well i have to weld it myself and uh yeah i don't know anyone that does this has done this in this country or whatever and just like everything we'll just do it in-house and have it done and move on so yeah i'm going to show you the camshaft uh, the wear that was on that which was certainly hurting performance and then we're going to get into repairing this extremely expensive engine block so i'm going to have it all done tonight sunday night everyone leaves me on my own sunday night it's Beautiful. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, here's the camshaft out on the dirty, dirty bench. This cam is not being used anymore anyway, so I don't care. Everything looks okay. Big uh, Giselle wheel on it, pulley on it. And here is our issue. So quite a lot of wear here on a lobe really bad um the roller itself wasn't seized or stuck or anything and um yeah i don't know why it did this whether it was starved of oil or what it's i don't know whether it was always like that um you know we didn't build this engine so it could have been always like that but either way that is a sprint car 410 camshaft and i won't be using it again anyway so not too pushed but that's the last bit of concerning wear of the engine so the bores and this lobe on the cam are our issues of our rebuild so to speak so i mean it could be worse could be better but i won't be using the cam and i'm going for a different camshaft so not all is lost so let's move on to this engine block all right so here is the block so the block is cracked it was a lot easier to see before i cleaned it but if we take a closer look it's cracked there actually up through here and up there and a bit there and up along there you can see it all the way there and here and up along here and in here and up to finishes about there yeah which is lovely um so clean the paint off it there's some sort of silver paint on it from someone and clean the paint off it and then i heat it with the blowtorch 
try and burn any impurities out of it then what i do is i give it a touch of the teak and that opens it all out and leaves me see a bit better i could grind it out but i have the other side already done and this is the way i did it and it worked so give it a touch of the teak and it just opens it out and then i give it a clean again and then i start to weld it which is scary but the other side the flip side is done so it worked for how long who knows but this is what i'm doing Right. and this is the other side with okay this uh, section here I was the least happy with that bit was the most unhappy part of, of the whole thing I just didn't uh, just I don't know got a bit of contamination in there or something to so just have to spend a bit of time there and um, yeah looks a bit like dog shit there but it's done it's crack free. Let's hope it lasts. So this is what I ended up with when I was finished. Don't think I did too bad. Uh, a little bit shitty here. The weld is fine. It's just a bit discolored. A bit of contamination came through there. Just ran over it trying to open any porosity that was kind of the original tract of the crack cracks so i think i did okay having never done it before this is it this is um it has to be done don't ask anyone just do it yourself all right so that's it that is it block is repaired by me uh how i saw fit i've never done this before so it is now done and uh let's hope it helps the engine now i mean it is a crack on the water jacket it was leaking water how structural it is who knows there's a lot of block there um but here's the head stud we'll say and the tread was stopping here it looks like it kind of pulled this section when it was torqued um and that's what opened the crack both sides so that's what it looks like to me what caused it i don't know doesn't matter what caused it this is what we have this block has to go back in and live again there is no replacing it 
because you cannot get one in the time frame that I want to get it in and I can't afford one. So I'm doubly fucked. So I fixed it tonight. Not that big of a deal. Fjord's welding and it is ready to get new liners put in because obviously we know the bore is not great. New liners, new pistons, crank is good, new cam, and new everything else, bolts, bearings, everything, all in. Um, the head's looking good, Nick, so they're right there, the heads. They look fine, they don't seem to have any leaking or anything, but I'll go through them. And uh, new seals, new gaskets, everything back together and ready to fire some stage in the next couple of months, I don't know. I need liners, um, I know the ones I need and I want, when they will arrive is another variable right now, um, and I need pistons made, which are going to be custom, not off the shelf, and whenever they will arrive, they're going to be made in the USA, whenever they will arrive, could be weeks, could be two months, this is where we're at, so... Yeah, that's the next chapter, at least a block. I had to get this job out of the way in case it went totally to shit and I knew I had nothing. That would have been a difficult um, chapter to open. But I think it's good. I think it's good. It's crack free and it's ready to live again. So yeah, one job done on this update. But uh, as I said, this is... The update next update is going to be actually what probably what our master plan is with the car moving forward big changes coming for the car so that will be the master plan moving forward let you guys know what the car might be getting up to this year obviously all this hasn't helped and caused some big delays so schedule has changed a little bit from what i possibly wanted it or would have liked it to be anyway i'm waffling thanks for watching and yeah we will get this baby back together as soon as we can see you next time